Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime and today I'm showing you the future. Not quite, but somewhere along those lines. What you are seeing here is a demonstration of this application here called Online Desktop. I can't even show you this in the marketplace because it's not available in this country at the moment. I've had to find it from other sources, but it is a completely free product, so this is by no means uh, an illegal download. What this is, is a cloud-based service giving you access to essentially a very restricted Windows uh, program. What I have here are options for Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. Here you can see that uh, Internet Explorer is available, however, if I do go there, uh, I believe that I can't go onto any websites. I'm going to try the BBC website. And if I do a search for that, it says, sorry, online desktop service uh, is not available for web browsing. This is because I have a free version of the application. If you paid $5 a month, which is probably the equivalent of about 3 or £4, then you would be allowed web access as well. I'll just try these links here to see if I can actually check emails. But it looks as though it's saying that I can't do that either. So, it is a very restricted service that you are seeing here. But this is essentially Windows Cloud Base on a tablet. And I've been fairly um, nonplussed about cloud uh, up to this point, but seeing this being demonstrated on a tablet is uh, very impressive. What you can do is you can use the Microsoft Office products there. Uh, so you essentially have Microsoft Office completely for free. It costs you absolutely nothing. All you have to do is um, uh, get an email and a password, and then you can log in. It's done via the internet, so it's all cloud-based. You can access it anywhere as long as you have the internet. And you've got two gigs of storage, so if I just click here and show my documents, I have one document that I served earlier today. And it's just a simple Word document, really, that says, um, uh, basically, hello, how are you today? So it's proved that I saved something earlier on, and now I'm back in there. And using Windows, um, Microsoft Office 2010, uh, is a very powerful tool that is readily available. Uh, a couple of things to know, that the right button click doesn't work, so um, that's a bit of a, an issue. And I don't think actually double clicking works, it's all done by single clicks. So if I click on Microsoft Word, there you are. And then I can start using things. I haven't really done too much experimenting. I guess trying to insert a picture might be difficult, because where am I going to get the pictures from? How am I going to save it to the library? And so on. But these are all things that hopefully will be uh, more accessible in future editions of this program or are available in the paid subscription. If I just go down to the... just cross that off and um, cross that off and look at the sample files, see if there's anything in there. So it's still the usual Microsoft stuff. But again, for what I'm paying, which is absolutely nothing, I'm getting a pretty good service. As you can see, it's fairly um, respondent, probably about a third of a second delay, but that's absolutely fine when you're just using a um, document. Um, obviously watching television streaming may be a little bit different, and um, using the internet also may be a little bit frustrating, but unfortunately I can't test it. This is essentially just to show you that you can have something um, on the tablet which really is not there at the moment in terms of productivity from any uh, tablet application. So I'll just go down to the Windows button now and show you the things that you have available. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that too well. Let me just put the brightness down, that might help you a little bit. So we have the Office products at the top, uh, the media players there. Uh, so you may be able to put movies and stream them in that fashion. Uh, notepad, Wordpad, Sticky Notes, uh, Adobe X Reader and so on. And if I look at all programs, uh, you can see that... You can't see that at the moment, let me just open it up. There's the folders that are available there. And um, 
if we go to videos there are a few sample videos and uh, let's play one and see how well this streams Not an iPad, a Transformer Prime. So as you can see that the um, video streams to be streaming fairly well and it's all synced, I don't think there's any sound issues. So again, relatively Im um, impressive stuff there. So we'll just show you how this thing uh, finishes off. Um, a couple more things, if I press the home screen, it's going to take me to my usual desktop, but I can snap straight back into online because it says here, that online is on live is paused so that will take me straight back into the desktop which is useful uh, swipe pad is still working as well so I can again jump out and go into another application if I wanted to going into a book reader but again on live is paused so I'll just tap that and come straight back into on live when I've finished I can just click down on the windows button there and click log off and that's it, the program is finished and all is well. If I want to go back into the um, product, just tap there. I have to put in my uh, details and then, apologies, I'll just get that looking so the camera can see it. Click sign in and it takes, I would say about 20 seconds to log back in. We'll just let this run, see how long it takes. I have had one instance where the application told me that my um, internet connection wasn't too good so I may suffer um, slow run but again that was about 20 seconds and it's all run fine and my mouse is working and I'm straight back in there and I can start using it again. So again very impressive uh, stuff here from the um, online cloud application. I feel as if I'm being teased by this, the fact that you can now stream another operating system onto a tablet so you've got so much more pro productivity is very tantalizing but unfortunately you can't do anything else with it you can't put any programs on it or anything obviously if you remote desktop uh, remote connected to your own laptop you'll be able to do that but unfortunately you have to leave it on but I feel that this cloud based operating system where you could just have a um, media device platform uh, which doesn't re really require any technical um, capabilities with inside it because it's all stored in the cloud I think this is a potential to be uh, very impressive as long as you have good internet access anywhere so I hope you found that uh, video useful it's really just a very quick demonstration to show you that on live desktop gives you uh, Microsoft Office uh, on the Asus Transformer Prime uh, any other questions please do ask uh, in fact I do, should just know that I am actually being able to use a Bluetooth mouse here uh, to use a device. Um, I have, can't really think of any other um, demonstrations that I can do on this so please if you do want to know anything else about on live desktop make a request and I'll actually try and find out if it can be done. But this as it is is free to use the Microsoft Office tools there. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again in another video very soon.